How's it going everyone? Hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm so excited to get back into it today, of course. And I do not remember where we left off. It's been a few days and I have a horrible memory. But all I know is we did handle Angelo Barante and a few other suspicious characters, interesting characters in last week's kind of vulgar episode. We had some very vulgar songs and words used, that's for sure. I messed up, I do remember I messed up this little side quest here in Rhodes. So bright. Um, so that's kind of a bummer, but I guess I'm going to go and do this Professor 1. Professor mission, and then, because it's like kind of telling me to do that. Um, because Albert Mason's not even popping up anymore either, so we're gonna do that. Let's get, let's actually check out our journal as well, because I haven't read that in a little bit. I don't know what's in there. We could also meet up with Mary as well. I want to find the killer, of course. Yeah, I went to the house. Don't feel so bad from now. I feel like a fool. Bastard was a slave catcher. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. The guy that we searched his house and tried to, like, recover his belongings and he was just a piece of trash. Mr. Comson again burned his valuable ledger right in front of his eyes. <laughs> I've been recuper recuperating after an interesting encounter with Colmel Driscoll. Dutch got it into his mind to meet the bastard to somehow end all this lun lunacy. Only Colm did not share Dutch's sense of humor amongst thieves. Whole thing was a setup to kidnap me, then lure all the rest of us into a trap so we could get arrested and Colm could disappear anyway us somehow carrying off his sin along with our own to the gallows seems like Colm is enjoying this modern world even less than we are more by luck than judgment i escaped and i somehow got back here more dead than alive and collapsed into bed for a few feverish days after much nursing from miss grimshaw and miss tilly and much guilt ridden apologies from dutch over his stupidity i survived okay my shoulder where i was shot Ain't come down with gangrene and I will live, if even uglier than before. Things is getting even more insane with the local population. My sense is neither the Greys nor the Braithwaites have a pot to piss in. But I ain't spent too much time with the landed gentry. Um, whatever else this is, they is, they don't make one believe in the nobility of the aristoc aristocracy. I can't read today. <laughs> Crab, a toad. Aw, oh, Sean. Dang. Sean has been killed. I'm more sad than I can admit. I love that little loudmouth wretch more than I knew. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together, and now he's dead. His head shot half off in an ambush. What a god dang mess we are making of things. Still no Confederate gold, but a shitload of trouble. Home home for now shady bell and yeah, it has been a while since i've read it shady bell we've moved again more trouble with the pinkertons more trouble with them locals more trouble all around little jack's been kidnapped so we're trying to find him apparently some fella in saint denise seen your something or other took umbrage to our presence and kidnapped him or heaven forbid worse we burnt down braithwaite manor when we went hunting for him in an almighty scrap it would be cool to go back to the Breakaway Manor and see if it's, like, all crumbled down. I'm sure it is. Then we got spoken to again by Agent Milton. This time he asked for Dutch's head on a platter. We got him to leave, but they ain't too pleased with us. Holy moly. So we headed into St. Denis to find little Jack. We was told he'd been kidnapped by some local gangster, this Italian feller called Bronte, a local tough guy. We ain't found him, but he's found us. Dutch and I headed into town, and I managed to get myself robbed by a bunch of children. This was a new low. Even my oh, even my by my own, even by my standards. Anyway, we found Mr. Bronte and are going to pay him a call. We better get the boy back soon. Not least because if we don't, Abigail will kill the lot of us. All this after we burned down the Braithwaite Manor house looking for him and made some real enemies of ourselves back in that country. We're now deep hidden, hiding deep in the swamps, trying not to get eaten by wildlife or sunk too deep in the mud. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. 
Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime, but the swamp's prettier. Dutch is trying to think of where we can run next, but in the meantime, we are deep in the swamps, <laughs> hiding in some disease-ridden old plantation house, mostly swallowed up by nature. Guess we will find Jack, get some money, then flee, but where? These bastards ain't giving up. We're a long way east of land, we know, and far from real open country. <laughs> Met a curious Frenchman in a bar. Bought him a drink and he gave me a picture. Said he was an artist, although I'm not sure I see what is his, what is so good about it. Met a monk. Helped him free a couple of poor bastards from the island someplace who were kept prisoner. The monk, what was his name? Brother something or other, was a good fellow. One of the... Uh, one of these innocent people who make you feel better about human beings and even about yourself a little. Must be odd to see all that goodness in the world. Place always seemed dark and brutal to me. Hmm, <laughs> the professor. Met a weird fella, wants a hundred gallons of moonshine. For love? Never heard such nonsense in all my life, and I know some talkers of nonsense. Guess I'll go ask that clerk Alden, Trelawney's disappointed friend, if maybe he knows a way of fighting, finding it, as I think there's money in this. There's Saint Denis. Holy moly! I always heard Saint Denis was one of the seven wonders of the world. If this is so, I don't care much to see the other six. It's a depressing place that shows you the only thing worse than people is a whole lot of people. I have not met, I have, I have not even ever met a lizard in a suit before. Only now I have, and his name is Angelo Bronte. He is either our salvation or our damnation. This city's strong man arrived from Italy a few years ago and now knows and controls everything and everyone. He had not harmed Jack other than feeding him strange food, and Dutch th seems to think that maybe we can get something from this oily dictator. Always. Personally, I don't trust him. More than I'd trust any hungry animal not to try and eat me. But for now, we are somewhat safe and hidden. Whole place gives me the creeps. Mary wrote to me, in all caps, wants to see me again. Oh, Mary, what fools we are. What a fool. What a fool I am. That's it. Got all caught up. Five minutes of reading. <laughs> all right. My cutie's over here. I was also gonna eat something because I never eat. I need to go to a saloon. Oh, I almost took someone else's horse. <laughs> I know what my horse looks like. Oh, the doggies are wrestling. <laughs> you okay, boy? Cute. Hey, boy. I've never seen them like, uh... Hi. Let me pat you. I haven't patted a dog in a while. That's so cute. I've never seen them both. Like You're wrestling like that. The horses looking like that. I'm about to forgive punch me. you. Don't forgive me. Antagonize hey, him. Let me see that ugly mug. Look, there's no need for that. <laughs> you just called me ugly. You know it? So, bite me. Let me get some food. While Arvok poops on us. Alright, Arvok. Give you a little pack, give you some food, give you a brush, and all right, let's go. Okay, my girl. We're looking good. That was my, that was my first time antagonizing someone, actually. Is this guy open? No. What time is it? Oh, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. <laughs> 358 AM! Move it. Meh. Those garments weren't expensive. Exactly. Should I kick this guy? Uh, oh, please, God, no! Alright, alright. <laughs> this is nothing to do with me. No! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's fine. Stop the witness. This is a big mistake. Greet. Hey, mister. Hello. Hey, do yourself a favor and get someplace else fast. The fuse. Of course. No problems here. <laughs> <laughs> All I did was kick a man. Keep on going. I will. Leave me alone. Don't investigate. It's fine. <laughs> I just wanted to kick him and see what would happen. 
<laughs> I caused a crime, so now the uh, the bounty posters are back up, I think. Oh my gosh, and this one's gone? No, it's not. I think it's just locked because I'm in trouble. All right, jeez, everyone's so sensitive. I don't think we really have anything to sell. Not really. Oh yeah, we do have part two of this map though. Now that's gonna take me a minute to find. Looks like it's in a big open clearing though, so I should be able to find it pretty easily. <laughs> all right, we all good down here now? Sheesh, sensitive much. Probably not a good idea to go do, and get these uh, posters. That guy's asking for it. They keep telling me I'm ugly. Hey, um, buddy, you're gonna have to stop loitering next to this sign. I gotta get it. Hi. Hey, I it. need to get to that poster Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Bro. Move it. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. All right. Hey, move. Out of my way. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? You ain't the <laughs> law, you know. <gasps> oh, shh. You gonna do it then? Oh my gosh, hurry, 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 hurry. Oh my gosh. Take down this thing. Put it away, inspect it. Oh my gosh. Put away! Sorry. Sorry to embarrass you like that. Okay then, girl. You cannot use this shot. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry. He didn't want to let me have it, so I had to fight him. My only solution. Look at that. <laughs> He's just staring at me like. He ain't gonna do nothing. Alright, let's get out of this town. I'm surprised I didn't get in trouble, actually. Well, I got two of five. I don't know where the other ones would uh, be. Okay, let's make it all the way out this direction. And see. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to find... Look how beautiful. To find the serpent mound. That'd be really cool. I doubt it, but you'll never, you never know. I'll try to stay off of the main path as much as possible. Also, I need to investigate the killer map a few more times. Because the bridge for him Discard all. How do I have 10 of them if I keep discarding them? I don't understand. Is 10 like individual cigarettes or something? I don't understand. Let's see. Oh yeah, I guess we do have the jewelry bag and a ring, but that's not worth it to go all the way over that guy. Um, let's see. I think it's in the treasure maps for the... Nope. Where's the killer's map? This one. Piece together map. Yeah, it's a bridge. It better be a bridge with no top. Not a covered bridge. So I need to find just a bridge and a rocky mm, tree foresty area. So I'll be on the lookout. I'll definitely be on the lookout. Now let's head out of here. Thingies! Gosh. You're so loud. I'm not even doing anything to you. Make 
prediction. Will we have any shenanigans happen on the road? Out of roads. Whoops. Whoa, easy. Not that. Hi, stranger. Big old gator over there. Okay. See, that's covered. Cover bridge. Over that away. Hello, sir. I won't kick hey you. There, mister. I guess. Oh, I feel like I should go up this way. Why do I feel I should go up this way? There's some deer up there. I mean, it's just a road, so never mind. Ooh. I like this song. What's this little place? It definitely was fun to be out in the wilderness when we did that, like, a handful of episodes ago now. What, what, what? It vibrated. That always makes me nervous. This, you think someone actually lives here? Okay then. Oh, yeah! Oh, la, 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 la. Hold on, go back, go back, go back. I press triangle to inspect the site. What is this place? Pleasance. Here's that empty town I found. Hmm. That's cool. So is it actually empty? What does that say? Stay. Stay out plague. How about I try to go in? Is there any way to go in? Or is it really just an abandoned place? I gotta at least look around. This town died of a plague or something? Oh, look at this. This is why you look around, am I right? Examine the cigarette card. Ooh. Woohoo! Dead I went up to level seven as well. Dang. Tiny tiny little card. You can barely see it unless you're right up on it. Alright. Three of twelve, which is just crazy to me. Let's go see if uh Anything's hidden around this church area. I don't think I'll be able to break in like I did with that one place with the O'Driscolls. You guys ever been to like a ghost town kind of like this? I actually have a couple of times. One in like Tennessee? Pretty sure, like the Smoky Mountain area. And then another in the west i can't remember if it was arizona or utah but it was somewhere out there no no hidden cigarette cards over here but i am proud i at least got one so does this sign say pleasance on it then yeah Founded August 1883. Got one more house to kind of look around real quick. Anything hidden with my eagle eye? Doesn't look like it. I will try to go in this one though. One last build. What's happening? What's up? Hi there, mister. 
Howdy, stranger. Same fine weather, ain't it? Ooh. <laughs> One man's junk is another man's treasure is what I feel like right now with all this junk on this porch. But I'm not seeing cards. Oh! Revolver cartridges though. Alright. I'll take that. Thank you very much. What else is lingering around here? Anything? Nothing else that I see, actually. We also have, like, a cool treasure to look for. That's the... Oh. There was a guy that told us about it forever ago when we were doing the, all the exploring. Anything in the toilet? <gasps> um, About these brothers that were, like, fighting over gold or something. Ah! Raccoon coming out of the... Out of the can. I'm pretty sure it was it was that treasure, and then they were um, they wrote something on the trees. I think they I think they said something about they marked the trees. What was that? That sounds like my stomach. I'm like starving right now, even though I just had a bowl of cereal. But I swear, even though. I love cereal. It just does not satisfy you the way like oatmeal does. I love oatmeal. Should I try to climb on top of this? Is there something on top of this tree? Imagine. Of course not, but that would have been cool, right? Anything on top of this roof? Nope. All right. Dang. I like this music right now. Well then. We found only one cigarette card. That's better than nothing. Let's see if I can go in here though. Oh, dang, I can. All right, hello, greetings. Oh, another cigarette card. Ooh, we got some stuff to search. Let's go! Okay, another cigarette card. Jolly Jack Cigarettes Fountain Pen. Amazing Inventions, card 12. Ooh. Hold on. What is that? It's just some sort of elixir or something, I guess. Was this maybe a school? Let's search this nightstand. Nothing in there. like an old school, right? So old school. These look like Skyrim potions, though, and I want them. <gasps> Examine Otis Miller and the Boy from New York. It's a book, I think? What is this? Cool. Open. It's a story. I ain't your friend. Let's take it. <gasps> OMG! Let's go! Uh, what a way to welcome Jack back by uh, bringing him a book. I think he said he wanted a book from actually the uh, Blackwater or whatever it's called now. I don't even remember anymore. I've left that place behind, you know? Okay, nothing in there? Nope. So that's cool. Now we got something for Jack to really welcome him back because that was, uh, even though... <laughs> He was probably having a better time with Angelo Bronte than with us sometimes. Jinsey Elixir. Anything. Doesn't look like it. I know some of you have mentioned that there's sometimes stuff behind the fireplaces, but it doesn't look like there is. All right, cigarette card and a book for Jack. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go. Come on over here, cutie. Did I search over there as well? Sheesh, there's a whole lot. Hi, thank you for coming over here. 
We're gonna search one more section. Okay. I hate weird noises. Hold on. This might be an actual place. <laughs> Is this someone's actual place now? Good job, Arvok. I'm getting distracted. Or is this just another part of this town? Ill with sin. Something sinners, I think is what it says. Well, I've already had good luck so far, so let's take a gander around here. Just a bunch of trash. From what I'm seeing right now. So many squirrels. That's like me right now. But I feel like that's like anybody anybody with this game. When you're out in the wilderness and you see something curious, you gotta investigate. Thank you guys for investigating with me. Alright, so nothing over here. I'm gonna double check that I can't go in the house. Where are you going, Arvok? You can't come up in here. And nothing on the porch. All right. Sounds good. Well, this Pearson, or not Pearson, but this this guy's moonshine is gonna be long gone by the time I get there. Yep. Good job, girl. <laughs> Some pleasants, and yeah, they got like a skull for the plague. All right, we're almost there. <laughs> as long as I don't get distracted. As I'm literally staring at a random rock and tree, because that you just never know. Where things are gonna be? What? I thought you told me to go this way. I must have just barely missed my turn. Canoe, a gator. Like I've said before, this is like my. What's going on here? They did. I had that one girl trying to kill me. Remember all that? Look at the spoonbills. They're so cute. I love them. It's one of my favorite birds. I see the gator. Oh, I see the gator too. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. Where are other gators? <laughs> Any other hidden ones? So I was kind of walking towards that one without even realizing it was right there. Easy, whoa. This reminds me of uh, Black Bell's area. Is there anybody actually here? Oh, skulls in a bag, great. Search the cabinet. This seems like a sus place. Biscuits, that's it. Biscuits and crackers. All right, close it. I'll be respectful. Search this cabinet sink. Vegetables, bourbon. All right. Gonna be anything good in here? A 
take the salted meat. Got nasty chickens sitting there. There's the wardrobe. I feel like I'm gonna be ambushed any second. Scent lotion? Predator bait? Herbivore bait? Why can't I take it? Alright, I guess I can't take it. I must have enough. Some pomade, maybe. Dang, some coffee. Could make some coffee when we camp out in the wilderness. I might as well take the fruit, I guess. Nothing. No cigarette card. Ooh. Okay, I can't get up there. Alright, whatever you say, game. Maybe out here in the toilet. Hold on, what's that? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Get out of it. <laughs> oh. Um. That's a big old gator. Holy crap, he's got red eyes and everything. Oh. Oh. These are their eggs. Take the gator eggs. I don't want to, but I'm going to have to see what happens. You've discovered a gator egg. Find goods like these are of interest to collectors who can be found in the nicer parts of town. Okay. I'm sorry, gator. I probably won't ever do that again. If I could put them back, I would. Because you... Those are your babies. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. It's just a game, right? <sighs> Dang, that was a big... I just wanted to see what the... The yellow was. I thought it was going to be something even more crazy. They can examine berries. Zena says hi if you can't hear her. The times I don't let her in here with me when I record are, are the times that she likes to bark even more. We eat in to refill. All right, let's open up the berries. Eat the evergreen huckleberry. Eat the milkweed to see what it wants to give us. Okay, didn't tell us. I'm so sorry, I took the eggs. Raspberry. There was like a naturalist thing I had to do. Body's grown used to the plants. All right, sorry. All right, anywho. Let's get out of this freaking sketchy swamp. It makes me nervous. If there's anything hidden in the swamp, I'm not gonna find it very easily because I'm scared Arvok's gonna get eaten by a gator. <gasps> Sorry. Um, <laughs> you guys have meant or someone mentioned. Ooh, okay, hold on. Check the area for gators in our path. I see one. There's a smokestack over here, so I want to yep. go over and say hi. But, yeah, you guys mentioned it's like, well, it's a horse, so it's, they're trying to make it realistic that the horse is going to choose where it wants to go. Even if you turn left, hey, it might not go left. Keep moving if I was you. Why? All right. What did I tell you? Get the hell out of hey, here. Calm down. Maybe you can help us. Ooh. It ain't like this is going well. Really? Ah, oh, shit. Nothing to lose, I suppose. Come on. The truth is, mister, our last batch of shine didn't turn out so good. You think you can help us with locating some ingredients? Doing we could reward stuff. you for your troubles. Okay. I could help. Happy to. I saw some milkweed oh, nearby. I already have some. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I have some with me. Go on, lazy bones. 
Toss the plants into the batch so we can test it out. Where? Add plants to the still, okay. Place them in the hatch on the side of the still. Oh, I see. Well, we're helping with the process of making moonshine now, too. There you go. Now what? All right. I'm going to give this a taste. Okay. They became friends with me now. Yay. Why do they always use those jugs? Right with shine, not at all. Tastes like licking liniment. <laughs> That's that all alcohol tastes all. like the meat is nasty. Oh well. Can't win them all. We'll try again later. Damn. We got a rare victual in that chest there. Take it. I'd say you earned it. Very generous, thanks. Okay. In this chest. Victual, what do you say? Just the moonshine? That's that then. Ooh, can I have the pirate run, please? Guess that's it. Thank you. All right. Till next time. Goodbye. All right. Cool, thanks. Bye. Hi, Arvok. All right. Yeah, age pirate rum. Let's bring up our stamina. Ooh, I know this isn't like technically a pirate hat, but you know, it's called something else. I just always forget the name. You cannot gain experience from Age Pyrum because your stamina is at max level. For real? Doesn't look like it. All right. Strengths on this moonshine. Fortify my health core. Sweet. All right, cutie. You get some food too. I'm okay. Here we go. Come on, girl. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle. Ooh, there's a gator right there. And there's also a houseboat or something. We're almost there. We're almost there, but this is what the game's all about. Getting distracted, right? It'd be um, funny if they somehow were able to have stats on how many times you've used the... Uh... Easy, easy. Why is it showing up like gray? I gotta check it out. Nothing's popping up. Alright. What's that over there? Oh, it's just a turkey. Get some more milkweed back. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Anything cool on this boat? We could sit on the edge. Taking the premium cigarettes. All right, this is America card 11, Dr. Hawthorne's. Nice. This looks like a fancy place. Let's inspect the phonograph. Cool. Anything else to get in this place? We're getting so many cigarette cards and stuff. Doesn't really look like it. What? Why'd she leave? What's happening? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. SpaghettiOs, are they coming for me? What's wrong, sweetie? <laughs> she is freaking out. 
I saw red pop up. Was it a gator maybe? This is a super cool spot, right? I like it. I want it. It's mine. Oh, I see one more cigarette card. I almost left. Poor cutie. I don't even know why it popped up like that. Man, we just found, what, like four or five cigarette cards in a row? Artist, writers, and poets card. Awesome. Only two of 12 of that one found. There are some, like, coyotes or something running over there. All right, cutie, I'm coming. Sorry about that. Jeez. Oh. That's what it was. A snake. Okay, I'll get on the road for her. Oh, she's right here. So sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hello. Hey, partner. You're making me uneasy. Back up. Oh, it's all bro. good. Calm down. Sheesh. <laughs> it's okay, girl. Just a scratch. Just a scratch. Where the heck am I? Oh, that's the Black Bell area. Wonder if there's Easy anything now. else I need to find in there. Now that everything is left. What? What are you looking at, buddy? Got a problem? Suspicious. Just gonna go search in here. This is a friend's place, so they won't mind if I search. Focus on the unknown animal. The freaking rat. Study the brown rat. Hurry, 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 hurry. Here we go. Now, <laughs> how do I need to study any rats? I literally, for that side mission, had to massacre an entire colony pretty sure I searched for everything that was in here but that was a while ago so we want to make sure double check while we're here nope I'm pretty sure we did everything sure I'll take the biscuits search the cabinet close the cabinet yeah. Oh, <gasps> just kidding! Heck yes! Marvels of Travel card. Inspect the card. Let's freaking go. I definitely thought we already searched this place high and low. So anyone that watched that episode and was like, dude, she missed a premium cigarette card. Now, we got it. Take the moonshine, I guess. Can I take the dynamite? Oh, let me have the dynamite. No. All right. Let me open up my satchel and make sure to get rid of any more premium cigarettes. So that way they don't try to yell at me and say, You have too many. All right. Awesome. That was well worth it. Quick little inspection. Hello, cutie. We're finally ready to go, <laughs> go on our mission. Is that a dead rat? What's happening? Is it glitched? There was actually, uh, when I was playing GTA 5 the other day, <laughs> I, uh, followed a rat for a few minutes, and it was just funny. This is not where the killer is. Oh, where's this shot? Steal the wagon. That's close enough. 
Back off. Oh, stop a moment. Hey. Miss uh, Lee. Word of warning. I see a big old gator just sitting in the road up ahead. I think we'll take our chances. Did I mislead them again? All right, you're making me do it. Step down from there and drop your weapons. I'm taking this ship. Yes. Shine, all right. Don't you wait. Get you all. What? No! You ain't getting ah! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Dang! Alright. Alright then, well I know I can't do it the nice way, so now I'm gonna do it the mean way, which is just shooting. Now, where's this shot? <laughs> Jeez. Move up this way. Take matters in my own hands. Who we got here? Easy. Hey, oh. out of the road. Hey, yeah. A uh, word of warning. I seen a big old gator just sitting in the road up ahead. I think we'll take our chances. Let's get our. Whoops. Oh, shit. What? I meant to do this. Okay, holy crap. <laughs> I was going through way too fast. Maybe if I had both hands on the wheel. Behind us, Arvok. Not in the water, please, so you don't get attacked by a gator. There she is. Good girl. Not again. What? Not again, what? the way, bro. Guys, oh my gosh. Seriously? There ain't enough room for the no. two of us. Dang. I got moonshine back here. This guy needs to move out of the way. He's taking up the whole road. Oh, snap. Oh. Oh, F. Oh, F. I gotta turn around. I miss my turn. Are you kidding me? He's messing with me, dude. <laughs> He's freaking messing with me. Oh, snap, okay. I didn't think I could whip a Yui. I know, I'm taking, oh my gosh. This freaking game right now, the tiniest little, ugh. Gosh, the tiniest little fence opening. <laughs> and then it rerouted me. Recalculating, just like freaking Google Maps. Like, no, I didn't want to go that way, Google Maps. I wanted to go this way. I could have just turned down this freaking road. Oh my gosh. Sorry, horsies. Good horsies. 
This is an area I haven't really explored. Pick up Arvok as well. Oh, okay. I think I. Oh, I know where we are now. I got your moonshot. Okay, one more little inch and we go. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell the Third. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? <laughs> The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know uh. the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? The mercies of knowledge. Speak to the police chief at St. Denis Jail. What in the world? We're about to have someone get on the electric chair. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I still had my mask on. Excellent, excellent. Oh, this wonderful methanol. Come on, cutie. There she is. Dang. <laughs> we did it. Well, should I... Should I just go ahead and continue with that? Oh, that's the artist's way. Investigate the commotion. Brother Dorkins. Oh, what was this one? Mary. Oh, snap. Mary Linden. Fatherhood and other dreams. Uh, what? And the professor. Okay. We should probably go to Mary. But you know what? We need to freaking eat something. Why are the saloons closed? Hot meals, baths, and rooms for rent. Why can't I go here? You're okay, girl. Hi, doggy. Mangy dog. Aw. Are you okay? Looks like it was like burned. That makes me sad. Piggy. <laughs> Pig said hi to me. Hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you're enjoying your time here with me experiencing this game for the first time. It's so fun. Do, 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 do. I recognize that one. Do, 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 do. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Oh gosh. What on God's plane are you wearing? Why does everyone judge me well. so hard? Well. well, since we're walking by it, we might as well investigate. Oh, I don't think I can go in there. Artist material. Was it this way? I can hear you breathing. What's going on? You're a dead man. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Calm it down. What's going what on? The devil are you? 
far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. This cab. I said get out of here. <laughs> the music. <laughs> Damn French. <laughs> I don't quite know why I did that. For real. Because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Oh, Lord. The artist's way is complete. All right. Who's freaking rocking the violin or whatever? There they are. Dang, you're hiding your beautiful music back here? Good evening. Sheesh, they're getting it. <laughs> oh. Hello. <laughs> Greetings. Hello, mister. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good, yeah. how are you? Going good. Oh, you weren't talking to me? Oh, awkward. Hi. Okay, now I can go to the saloon. Okay, I'm having more fun than Saint Denis now. I'm not gonna lie. It's getting he better. Can't keep a house to save her life. God, oh. I wouldn't stay for it. Where are the strangers? Oh, come on! What the drink? There you go. Now shut the hell up. I can't. She's got what? her mind. What's wrong with you? Let's go. Unbelievable. What's going on? Don't worry, mess. it'll wash uh, off. Uh, that was it? Uh, like I give a damn. I couldn't interact with them anymore. Did I miss my opportunity? Probably. <laughs> All right, we gotta get a nice bath before we meet Mary again. Okay, I recognize this place. Let's hitch our horse. We were here earlier with Dutch. Did you hear the church is refusing to marry old Caffrey on account of what he did? Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry, lady. New to town? Mom, can I get another bloody drink over here? Where is Tom? What Who's is this? Whoa. It's too bad. It really is. Can somebody horse whip him for me, please? <laughs> I like your dress. Of all that is holy. <laughs> Can I greet you or what? Hello? Ah, shut up! <laughs> okay. Peacock lady, let me say hello. She is wearing a peacock dress. I love it. I just realized it. What are you looking at, cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. <laughs> well, that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with, hmm, darling. Now, shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. Oh, okay. Mister? Can we get some food, please? Food? Dang. Let's get the... Back off. Let's treat ourselves. This isn't a square dance. Don't worry, I'm getting food, okay? Do you want to have a good time? Dang. We treated him. That was a good meal. Hello. Warner. Merci. Bonjour, monsieur. I'm gonna treat him to the lobster bisque as well. I see you out Smell good, good, huh? This is fancy food. In Valentine, we had, like, oatmeal. <laughs> Why are you guys all staring at me? Leave me alone. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. We could try my hand at poker, even though I have no idea how to play. Um, what drinks we got? Whiskey, beer, nah. Let's go to lodging. Let's get a bath. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? No. I'll have the girls make it for you. Just, Thank just head on up. Thank you. I'm gonna have a room too. Can I get a room, please? Okay, room is all set. All. Just head upstairs when you're ready. Thank you. 
you can go right How now. How do you do? You ever play this If you can't drink? hold your drink, get out. Oh, he's playing Hello, nothing. Hello, handsome man. Hi. Hey, folks. Bath time. Ooh, I love stained glass. So pretty. This is a very nice place. The savages are giving businesses a terrible time up north. Hey, friend. Hello. You are quite is there something else up here? Which is part of the saloon, I guess. You need it, man. I don't think he's taken a bath since before we got kidnapped from uh, Colm. All right. Go ahead. No deluxe bath this time. All right. We can do it ourselves. Would you like help in there? No. Not this time. I'm all right, thanks. All right, you go ahead. Scrubber dub dub. Arthur's in the tub. Good. Whoops. I didn't mean to. I pressed the wrong button. Alright, and our room's right here. Let's go to bed. Ooh, it's a nice bed right here. That's for sure. Um, I think I got all my outfits saved now, so I think we should be good. Let's sleep till the morning. Good old six hours of sleep. And then we'll go meet Mary. She thinks might have to get them all uh, prettied up again, you know. I don't know if there's anything wrong with long hair and beard, but maybe a little fresh, clean shave. It's been a while. Hold on, is this the barber stuff? Yeah. Oh no. Search. No. What was it? Okay. Thought we could do a shave right there, but apparently not. Oh, um, hey, excuse me. Easy. Why are you outside my door? That's my question. If it weren't for the bad, we wouldn't know when it was good. Limited. When the big wigs come yeah, pouring out, the, out of a session in the city hall across over the way, I'll give you one guess where they'll come to unwind. This is so Would cool, you like how they, to join uh... you? Don't let me rush you. Dang. Now. Okay, I guess I'll have prime rib again. There I thought there'd be maybe breakfast. <laughs> it's fine. Some men are intimidated. 999 dollars. Yes, thank you. Thanks. All right, all cleaned up. And, um, what is this question mark? A stranger, a new stranger? A bright, bouncing boy. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, let's go get a full on. I don't know how, how long can his beard grow? As long well, as it could grow. I see you didn't get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure. What are you talking about? Are you talking at me? Sorry, we gotta whip you. Whipping the Yui right into somebody. Sorry about that. Oh, oh, oh! Shh, talking mushroom. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. They're like, oh no, he's back again. All right. I let it grow for a while. It's time for a fresh cut for Arthur before we meet up with Mary. Mary. Uh, you lose the scissors in your house? Grab a seat. Let's get to work. Your hair is as long as mine. Something fancy like. We're gonna go with the style. I liked the um. Yeah, we've done the right parted faded, swept back. Bold. Dang. Oh, super long hair. We could do swept back with our long hair. Swept back fade. So, uh, what is it that you need? 
Just give me a second. We did right part faded, I guess, last time. Um. Let's do this, I guess. Come on, friend. Dude, what can why I are you do for rushing me? I'm your only customer. And let's trim my beard and get clean shaven. Clean shaven. The flying fork. Dang, the Maltese. <laughs> what? Forked Spartan? We might have to try that at some point. I don't remember looking at that one last time. Nice. Clean shaven. Let's go. Imagine getting a haircut and a shave for two bucks. Well. I guess we're all done here. Thanks. Bye. Don't watch it for a day or two. So, so where'd you get that get up? Wanted to. People are just begging. Begging for me to fight them. Holy sh what is happening? What what what? I just morphed through the pole, I think. This town's just too tight. Stress me out. stopping for me. Very nice of you. Alright, let's go meet up with our ex-girlfriend. See what's going on. Arthur! Oh, dang, it's going straight to Arthur! It. What's I'm up, here. girl? You came! Yeah. I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. <laughs> Arthur. Checking his teeth. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than 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 me. Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code, but your code is—it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies and hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling. Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. No, but it's perfect, that's for sure. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening mm -hmm. decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? I'll tell you. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. 
But... Well... I don't know. Oh, snap. So what do you think he's up to? She's riding I'm not with sure. us. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. <laughs> Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has it's got music. worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. I swear they time it so that way people are like in my way. Look at this. That guy just happens to need to walk across the street and this guy's here and that guy's there. Y'all move it now, you hear? Go in Hi. and see what kind of a state he's in. Okay. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. <laughs> what, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, it's Daddy, safe. please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired I and I have no such thing. You get away from me, you head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Jeez. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Caramba. Keep your distance or you'll be spotted. This way. I just failed a mission like this in GTA. <laughs> I ran two steps too close to the guy and failed the mission. He went around the corner. I know he did. Hopefully he doesn't spot the man with the pirate hat. Oh. Hold up, Arthur. Okay. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. <laughs> Arthur. Come on. He just went between those crates. Stay away from the puke. I remember we tried some sort of Don't ingredient. Of tried some sort of ingredient and then we puked too. That's so funny. Come here. Huh. Quick. What? Mind where you go. Jeez. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! <laughs> Sheesh. He's heading across the road. Nope. This is kind of fun. <laughs> He'll hear you. You certainly dress 
differently than you used to. Such harsh judgments, Mrs. Lynn. Same on you. Do they always say that to me? Like just Arthur? Went left down that alleyway. Or is it because I doing? literally have Let's go find out. Like a pirate outfit on, you know? You guys Don't can let me know. I'll never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Some action. Uh oh, here we go. Here's some action, maybe. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens like to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've used to sell. It's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Nice mother enough. left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. No promises. Catch up with hey, the buy. You, Ashton, hold her right there. God damn it. Chase after the wagon. Should I actually like chase after it or like get Arvok? Hey, stop that coach. Gonna intercept Arvok up here. Maybe. Sheesh! Come on, Arvok, come on, come on, come on. Meet me up here. All right, we got good stamina, we're fine. No way, we're gonna lose it. Arvok, come on. Me, the damn coach. He's out of the wagon, I'm trying to, I'm gonna fail. I couldn't even run this fast this far, honestly. God damn it. Get it, Arthur, we're so fit. Come on. Arva, get behind me. <laughs> I can't wait for Arvok at this point. Or should I? Holy shit. Every time. <laughs> oh. I step on a turtle. Damn that. The horse is out of whistling range. Oh my god. No way I'm gonna be able to chase him. <laughs> no way. Uh, should I just let them go? I'll go until the stamina runs out, which is close to happening. This music's nice though. <laughs> All right, you know what? No, just fail me. Just fail me. I need Arvok. Get out of range. Just go. Thank you. Jeez. 
totally fine with that. Now I'll just wait for Arvok and I'll catch up. <laughs> Which would have been the smarter thing to do earlier, but that's all right. God damn it. Okay. Or I guess I could just get on someone else's horse, huh? Good job, horsey. Stop that coach. You done good, girl. Get back here. Stealing someone else's horse now. You hear me? Stop that damn coach. has barely any stamina. He said don't kill anyone, I guess. So. Good job, horsey, random horsey that I just stole. never use any of this so there you go <laughs> like dang what's this stuff you stop right now come on dude jump to the wagon let's go Move towards the driver using L. Jack the wagon. Get out of here. Drive to a secluded spot. Okay. It's not secluded enough for you. This is insane. Who said that? I just knocked them off of the thing, didn't I? Move out of the way, you randos. Yes. Oh, I see. Sorry, horsies. Um, also, there's a rainbow and it's beautiful. Rainbow! You're making a big mistake! No, oh, I ain't. I need that brooch back, and you're lucky I didn't kill you, because I was tempted to. Good job, horsies. Did killers put you up to this? Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. How much more secluded do we need? Up on that brooch, Baron! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, it's so hard driving four horses and a coach on these tiny little Where are you taking me? bridges. Get Pull them out. out. All this for a brooch, bro. Bro brooch. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Fine. Here. Here, yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for I had to punch Melise once. <laughs> I had to. We cut these horses free. The amount of times I have to do this. I don't want to be behind you like that. I just want to try to cut you free. Them free. Sheesh. You're free. There you go. They all just poop in as soon as I do that. Is there anything in here? Like in the coach? Oh, oh gosh, there might be. I'll free that other horse. 
Dang, platinum earring. A naval compass, that seems special. Silver emblem ring. Silver pocket watch. A coin sack. And another coin sack. Nice. 1222. Is that it in there? I think it looks like it. Cut this guy free if it lets me. There we go. Finally. There we go, guys. I don't think I can get up in there. Look, I cut it free and it pooped again. Oh man, hold on, am I out of range again? <laughs> Where is Arvok? Arvok? Way out there somewhere, I don't even know. Nope, out of range. <laughs> Alright, I'll take this big old horsey here. Stay up. Alright, we're getting a cutscene, I guess, taking this this horse with us. <laughs> Dang. I'm not a big country music fan, but this kind of vibe is what I like. If I'm gonna listen to any kind of country, it'd be this. Old school. Where's your father? I like bluegrass as well. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not no. really. No, let's take a walk. Maybe take it's time it to for you to be. Thank you. Focusing on yourself, you know? You're trying. Yeah. Uh, got you your brooch back. And nobody died. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Head to the theater, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Theater? Me? Theater? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relour. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> right. Strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. Jeez. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. Love well, yellow. Way be the secret <laughs> magic word. Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. There's Come a on, lot of yellow. Let's gold go find our seats. Looking stuff. So yellow would be the secret magic word. A little late, like an How hour late, but that's right. all right. Sure. After you. Yay! We get to watch a show together. I think I watched the show already, but I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not rewatching it. Welcome! Yep. <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest yep, assembler yep. of entertainment since yep, Nero yep. himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets We're of Saint Denis, sure. I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a proprietor or not. Are you of in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Yes, because I've already Prepare seen it. <laughs> for the grandest excitement of your curiosity fire, snakes, and magic. 
I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Let's see which one it is. Oh. No, I think it is the same one we've already seen. For joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about like, this place baby, we all love called San Johnny. You shouldn't say that next to Mary. Flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you, you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire, or to spend time in the all company right, of strange women. The same, so we're gonna exit. You Hey, are about come on, to let's get both. out of here. Oh, <laughs> Miss Antoinette okay. San sure. Sorino. If you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. <sighs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. 
Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it seems like this is kind of karma. She didn't want to run away with me to begin with, and now I'm not ready to run away with her, so... Seems like we're fair and square from what I'm understanding. Fatherhood and other dreams. I love that trumpet player. Take Mary to the theater. Catch the wagon and take it to the secluded spot within one minute and 45 seconds. Nope, that was not going to happen. We've got the professor again. We've got the brother. We have Leopold Strauss, Hosea, Mary Beth. Albert guy like disappeared for some reason and I'm still looking for more of the bounty posters for those guys so that's what we're gonna save for next time so thank you so much for hanging out with me and Mary and Arthur and uh, yeah I had a good old time so thank you so much if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe trying to grow the channel to 50k by the end of the year which would be super awesome big stretch goal but still always good to have a goal and have a have a dream so either way i'm so thankful for each and every one of you that are here taking your time to watch comment like all the things thank you so much for that and a huge thank you as always to my awesome extra supporters on patreon ko-fi and here on youtube you guys are amazing so thank you so much for helping me keep this going um and yeah appreciate you all have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you on the next episode bye